He'll finally get to use a stifle. Yeah. <laughs> what are we using stifle on? <laughs> One of the fetch lands. We're going to stifle a fetch land, and Bernadette is going to calmly pay for spell pierce. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Kevin, Joshua Kevin, please come to the... He's considering um, just letting this be the end. He doesn't oh. want his land stifled. He's like, nope, never, never stifling, never. Um, what do you do here? You, you sack the fetch land, let it get stifled if he wants, and sack the other fetch land, right? Or do you just let the standstill go? I'm going to, I'm gonna, whatever Burnett does, I'm going to side with and say that's the right play. <laughs> <laughs> Burnett is a master. It's so true. He could, he could just let the stand still die, and then Glacier would keep the siphon up the entire game. <laughs> he's like, it's basically like I wasteland in the land. Yeah. He's, he's like, I know. He's like, I know you have stifle. I know you have what? stifle. I win. Ding ding ding! It's raining money. Players, just a friendly reminder: Star City Games dot com opening. Dealer move is going to be closing down the end. Being bad. <laughs> No, so, so we, we just let the standstill go. Standstill is just died. Also, we do have some surveys up here. We really appreciate your feedback. We really want to know what we can do to make your experience here better. So if you take just a minute to fill a couple of them out, we'd really appreciate it. Glacier's just playing this entire game a turn behind to destroy Burnett's fifth land. This is the way I see it. <laughs> and Burnett's perfectly content and waiting until he draws yeah. everything he wants. I mean, this is perfect for him. He, he just sits there and does nothing, and the game gets better and better for him. It's like turn. Burnett S. Dance play. <laughs> yeah, yep. Oh, nope. Passes. For what reason? Unknown. He wants to draw a blue card for his force, I guess. Maybe he's not trying to stifle the land, he just wants to stifle the scepter. Maybe that's what he's worried about. But if, if that's actually what he's worried about, he should just play E for 2 there. Is that a fairy conclave? That's a Teleria West. Oh, Teleria West, okay. Spell Pierce is drawn. And now we get to net up and play Confidant. Burnett's gonna use a counterspell. Huh. He's like, all right, go ahead. <laughs> it's like finally. <laughs> Thanks, robot. No problem. Beep boop beep. <laughs> beep beep. Like Burnett, I don't know if. I, think I mean, Burnett we've all to, like we've all played against him, but he always looks like even if he's winning, it looks like he's losing. Yeah. You know, like he's just he sweats he's so just, hard. Yeah. Every turn. Even after he wins, yeah, you're not sure if he won. <laughs> Sitting there like downtrodden, and you're like, but yeah, what happened? Oh, I'm like Tenno. He's like, like he, like he was at one, and I had this one one. He had no blocks, no cards in hand, and wasn't sure if I should attack or not. <laughs> but I did it, and it worked. Game but I don't know. Play. Was that the right play? Yeah. <laughs> it's like maybe you just be happy that we won. Second fetch land resolved. Burnett shaking his head like he must have made a mistake by playing around Stifle. I think Burnett was really trying to get him to play Stifle to make him use the spell pierce. Yeah. So so he couldn't use spell pierce anymore. Yeah. But I don't think it matters too much. Oh, is he gonna pay five for four silver? Brent has actually managed to like play around literally every single card that Glacier could have. Counterspell. Uh, forceful pitching. Stifle. Brent goes for Scepter. Could be game.
Counterspell dies. Hey. Dark Confidant still on the stack. It's still on the stack? Yep. That's exactly what... Uh, Floating on the stack. Mm, counterspell. Another Counterspell. This will get Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce. Whoa, that costs two to pay for. Thoughts on Spell Pierce? Uh, pretty good right now. I agree. End sidebar. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I can't believe I let you counter my counter spell. Yep. He's not happy with himself. You can tell that much. Eh, it's all right. He'll draw a it, It's, it's like if, if Burnett's, any of Burnett's counter, like spells get countered or any of his creatures go to the graveyard, it's like it's because he did something wrong. Yep. He definitely <laughs> feels that way. <laughs> You're playing a factor fiction right now? Yep. Ooh. Have you ever... When's the last time you cast a Factor Fiction? Well, it's been like a, a long, long time. Okay. When's the last time you cast a Factor Fiction, flipped over five spells, one of them a Planeswalker? And two of them Force of Will? <laughs> Ooh, two Force of Will, a Chase, a Brainstorm, and a Standstill. That's an expensive fa Factor Fiction. <laughs> I'll flip over $80. <laughs> That's like way more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Force of Wills are like almost 50 now or something. What pile are you taking? Hmm. Brainstorm, standstill. I think, I think you're taking a standstill pile, right? Oh, yeah. Three cards? You can't pass that up. Even in his old age, Burnett can realize the three-card <laughs> pile is bigger than the two-card pile. And do we just run the standstill out there? No, I think we drew plow. Nope. Oh, we, no, we brainstorm, Ooh, and then we, we standstill. Like, that's weird. Maybe he has fire ice. Yeah, maybe land. he does have fire ice. He's not his head. head. Shaking head for Burnett. It's his signature move. Nothing. He's like, no, <laughs> these cards, these cards can't be this good. <laughs> like, They're so cool. <laughs> and uh, Burnett, seven spells in hand, passes the turn. A daze. Oh, face up daze. I wonder what that's going to do. And the stifles that don't do anything. <laughs> Glacier says, Impressive turn. You drew about seven <laughs> cards. I drew a daze. And I have two useless time glyphs in hand. Pretty soon he's, he's going to get a green source. What do you mean he's going to get? You say like he has a fetch line to play. Pretty gonna, sure he's yeah. gonna cave in and get yeah, a. Yeah, it's just gonna happen. <laughs> like, I mean, have you played with a dark confidant ever? <laughs> <laughs> Brad's like has so many outs to it. If he keeps drawing cards at this rate, it'll be dead pretty soon. I could watch all Brassy play all day. You have to watch him all day to watch, see what match. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there, there went Brad's only white source. And Michael draws. I did not see. Couldn't see either. Every card in Burnett's graveyard in Michael's head is a mistake. <laughs> we got 13 uh, mistakes a mistake, in this mistake, card pile. <laughs> a mistake made. Crucible, nice. Crucible. Nice wasteland you had there, David. <laughs> it worked well. <laughs> he went, wait a minute, let's see what's in here. I don't get it. So this might meet. There's not, there are... What's it going to meet? A, a daze? daze? A <laughs> an engine explosive? It's going to meet a pair of Tarmal Nice. Nice. Thanks, Bill. And now we get to... A wasteland. The wasteland every turn plan. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like a goblins deck and a mono black deck are in the top eight. As expected. Shh. Stifle. I'll prevent that from happening for one turn. <laughs> that's all it that's all that's the only turn you need to draw a green source. And bam. And it's and we we're preventing it again. Turn.